Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun and Rising and Venus. Uh, please keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. Uh, just take what fits and leave the rest out. We have the Wheel of Fortune, a time of positive change with ton of fire, too much uh, work and burden. So it looks like a, a situation uh, that's been difficult to navigate is finally turning in a different direction. Okay, I finally see that uh, something's being lifted here, a burden. Absence, I feel like a part of me is missing without you and daydreaming. I am always longing for you here. So someone is constantly thinking about you and uh, wishing it was very different now. Overall energy, we have the Page of Cups. This is about a new phase of love beginning as well as uh, opening up emotionally. Okay, making amends as well. So let's see what's going on in your energy this week. We have Five of Swords, Knight of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. So this is a week of truth. You see things for what they really are. Uh, everything's being revealed to you, especially things you've been worried about in the past. Uh, but it's time for positive change. You start to feel like, okay, I can overcome certain things here. Especially, I'm picking up that for some of you, you've gotten into some conflicts or there have people that have come against you or have misunderstood, uh, you know, what your intentions are or what is going on. And you felt like you've been done wrong. Uh, but the universe uh, has got your back, okay? The divine sees all, so hang in there because this week is a great week where challenges are overcome, okay? And your voice is finally heard as well. So for their energy, we have Seven of Swords, Three of Swords, and the Star card. This person desperately wants healing. Um, they are suffering in silence right now. They are not showing you just how much uh, they are suffering here without you. In fact, uh, they're missing you so deeply that they feel like they need to do something about it. There is a restless energy here. Uh, it's not the star card. We have eight of cups, ace of wands. Uh, five of pentacles, king of pentacles, and the sun card. Yeah, it suddenly hit them that... They cannot live like this, that they have to do something about it, whether what happens in the outcome, if they don't get their way or they don't um, get what they want out of this, that it, it has to happen. Okay, tell me the Seven of Swords. I, I see someone really saying, I just don't care at this point. I have to do something. Uh, Page of Wands and the Hermit. Yeah, they've really been thinking about this a lot. Uh, it's come to the point where they feel overwhelmed or burdened by this uh, fact that they've treated you this way or they've been uh, very mysterious here or have done things behind your back. Uh, tell me the Three of Swords. Uh, lovers, so concealed secrets here. Uh, lovers, Queen of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. They're hurting because they miss you. They really miss your presence. Uh, you bring them a comfort here in the Queen of Pentacles. And they feel like, um, you know, everything that made them happy is now gone. But you are completely unaware of that here. In the past, we have Eight of Swords, the Hanged Man, and the Tower. So things had to change drastically. And I see that uh, this person felt very trapped, possibly in an environment here for some. For others of you, they were trapped in a mindset. But I see with the hanged man, they needed to finally surrender something that was no longer serving them, was actually inhibiting them from uh, achieving success, not only in their love life, but also financially. Other things here, they felt like Every aspect of their life was continuing to drain and drain down to where they felt like there was nothing left for them to give. And they felt like they were suffering here in silence to the point where I almost see a martyrdom uh, situation where they really feel like, okay, all hope is lost. I just need to give up. You started to see them all of a sudden like black and white change and become very cold and sometimes not uh, be really come around and communicate. So you felt like they were abandoning you in a sense, sometimes rejecting you as well. Tell me the tower card. King of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. There is an emotional undercurrent here where this person feels like they desire you more than anything. And sometimes it overwhelms them. 
but they felt like they just kept spiraling. Uh, everything in their life was really coming after them and they felt like everything was being stripped away from them as well. They just felt like uh, their whole world was crashing down here in the tower, but they were not willing to communicate this to you or tell you what was going on with them as well or what they were feeling. Tell me the hanged man. So you kind of had to fill in the blanks or just uh, assume uh, what you thought was the logical answer. Tell me the king of swords. Moon four. Yeah, four of cups. They were becoming apathetic because they realized that uh, all hope is lost. There's nowhere to go from here. I have literally ruined everything. And they were keeping these things hidden from you. And to, to you, it just looked like that they were becoming more serious, more uh, cold, as well as seeing them less and less. So let's see what happens in the challenge here. We have five of cups. The death card the cards are very jumpy and the four of swords someone's had enough uh they felt like they couldn't have you the way that they wanted and it's kind of like this energy where they throw a fit and give up with the five of cups here there's a lot of uh, regret of what's happened or how they handled things here and I see that uh, there's a lot of details or circumstances that you are just so unaware of that it looked like they were just being suspicious. They looked like they were trying to uh, keep secrets from you and uh, just play with your emotions at times. But I see with the Death Four of Swords for some of them, and I just see for a select few, there's something drastic or traumatic that's happened in their environment to where they've lost even uh, a select few, a certain someone that mattered the most to them, a family member, a friend, something that completely devastated them and they just couldn't pull themselves back up. I see a lot of grief here. Uh, somebody suffering from, it's either grief or past baggage they've been holding on to for quite a while. Uh, tell me the death card. This feels like a very heavy burden that someone's been carrying without uh, letting anyone know. Seven of Wands. Yeah, they suddenly became defensive, pushed you off. Things became uh, very opposite than how they were in the past. And you almost had to kind of uh, struggle to figure out how to act towards them or how to fix this, what was going on with them. They just wouldn't open up. When you tried, you felt like that they would run farther away or they would distance themselves for longer periods of time. Judgment. Yeah, they're, they made some poor decisions as well during this process because their head was not in the right space. Uh, they definitely were feeling uh, the lowest that they have in their life. And you are the thing that has comforted them the most because they couldn't stop thinking about you, but they weren't willing to open up. So let's see what they're about to do. We have the Queen of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. I like to see the Ten of Swords. A lot of people don't, but uh, this is kind of like a cleansing energy because there's only one way to go is up from here. And it's finally an ending, an ending to suffering and holding back, uh, not expressing emotions. And we have something truly special headed your direction where you're finally going to see someone open up their heart here. So if this reading's resonating with you, in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, Sagittarius, I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.